what's going on guys so I'm here and sorry if I'm sounding kind of stuffy still uh, recouping from last week but I wanted to come at you with probably one of the I don't know third largest brim calls mail calls of all time in wet shaving history um, First, I would have to say it's probably Busta because he had like an hour-long unboxing, which was insane. Second would probably be uh, Evan Rogers because he got a, an amazing amount of stuff given to him, which was awesome. So, first off, I need to thank Mr. Tyler. Him and I did a trade, and I need to let Don the Navy Goat know that I made this trade with Tyler and I traded the uh, green or sharp dressed man sterling soap and the reasoning behind it, it's not that I didn't like the performance it's not that I really didn't even like the scent it's just a scent as far as the soap goes I know I'm not gonna reach for it a lot and uh, I wanted to kinda be a blessing to somebody else that I thought would like it a lot and I wanted to try some other stuff that I hadn't tried before, so he traded me Nona Michelino. Yeah, let's see if I can get this autofocus going. And Razor Rock King of the Castle. So, pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that. Next is some stuff that Don the Navy Goat had sent me. And... Uh, it's pretty pretty unbelievable the stuff he sent me so thank you so much and Chris Bailey I have to give you some thanks because uh, you introduced me to Don and he has been a great guy and Don I know I tell you thanks in almost every email we've emailed each other like 50 billion times uh, because mail has been insane lately since all the weather and stuff and uh, but sir I really 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 do appreciate um, just your amazing generosity. This is pretty awesome and it just blew me away. So, try not to make this too long, but I'll just go through uh, what he gave me. I don't know everything he sent. I did not expect all of this stuff at all, but uh, pretty amazing. So, we got Razor Rock Captain's Choice Bay Rum. Pretty excited because I don't have a Bay Rum uh, soap. Tobacco number one by Razor Rock, which is pretty exciting. I don't, uh, oh wow, the Stallion Soap, this was something I uh, didn't pull the trigger on, and um, now I got some. So, Stallion, I will be doing a review of your soap some point in time soon. Uh, pretty amazing. The Classic P160, which I haven't tried yet. Um, looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to all of this. This is uh, tight buns. I was this one scent wise sounded really really nice, so I'm really looking forward to this one. And so far, none of this stuff I have. So really really cool. Um, let me just get through all the soaps first, and then I'll show the aftershaves. Tobacco number two, so I guess I can kind of do a review on what I think. Uh, Razor Rock Classic Artisan Soap. Pretty interesting. I'm not really sure what this one... I'm not sure what these are. If these are a scent or if it's just soap. But I got two of them, so I might piff one to one of my brothers because um, they just kind of got into wet shaving and they don't have a lot of stuff. Oh, he hooked me up with another one, so I got three. So, that will be pretty awesome. Uh, Don Marco, which I do not have. And, and if I can get this wrapping paper off, bubble wrap. The new Triple X, I have the old formulation. It'll be kind of cool to compare and see 
the difference on those. And two aftershaves, Son of Zeus, which I'm really looking forward to that because I've been told it's supposed to be like Terre Dermes. Um, Dermes and then P160 aftershave. So that was that box and pretty awesome. Probably going to cut this part here. Um, just so I can get to the next part. So just bear with me. So start off with the Vanguard Dreadnought brush. Which I don't know what it is. I'll find out later. Got a, um, I think this is kind of the, I can't remember the name of this, the GBS, that should stand for something. Um, I believe it's similar to the Plasson nut, it, but it's a little more backbone, and it seems like it's not, not as densely packed. So, the groom, uh, grooming company, something like that. We've got, I think, another grooming company. So I guess these are all the synthetic brushes. A, another grooming company. Uh, what is this one? Jack, Jack Black. Synthetic. Oh, nice. Cool. Mule Black. Synthetic hair. And the Omega High, which will be kind of cool to do reviews on all of these brushes. So that is the synthetic brushes. So we got a tint. We've got, what is this? An Omega. Wow, that's monster, monster brush. Another Omega. Huge. It's insane. I actually think I'll... Uh, well, I know for a fact I'm going to give some to my wife because she's got really, really cheap brushes. She's not as into the shaving hobby as I am. Uh, another Kent brush, which is, again, massive. Uh, Excelsior. What is this? Samog. Cool. Don't have a Samog, which is pretty exciting. Another Samog. Wow, that's just unbelievable. So... Those are the Badger, or <laughs> Boar Knots. I don't know what this one is. This is a uh, Badger. Looks nice, kind of plain handle. There's no writing on it. So Don, if you can tell me what this one is, that would be kind of cool to know. I've got, uh, ooh, wow. This is, I believe, the Horsehair, which I've been very curious about. This Vilong, V-Long. Uh, Frank Shaves, Badger Brush, Parker, Badger Brush, a WSP High Mountain, which is pretty cool, and what is this one, the old original, the Volfix, I guess. Not really sure on that one. And another Parker Badger brush. So, so all the Badger brushes. I guess I've got a lot of pictures now to post on this. So pretty crazy, awesome, uh, pretty amazing. So, Don, unbelievable. <laughs> I, I have no words um, to say. I feel like thanks is not enough. Um, but I, And I'm just really blown away. Like, this is uh, just amazing. Just totally, totally amazing. And uh, it's made kind of a long, torturous week um, of trying to recoup and dealing with stuff at work and, and all that just makes the end of the week that much better. Um, I'm just really blown away. So, Don, thank you. Thank you, thank you, sir. You truly are a shipmate and uh, a good friend. And um, 
unbelievable guy. And if I could meet you in person, I'd give you a, a big hug and take you out for coffee or make you some coffee. Uh, too cool. Too, too cool. So I just appreciate this. And uh, it just makes me really wonder and uh, really kind of reflect on how cool people are in the shaving community. Uh, for the most part, I'd say 99% of the people in the shaving community are awesome. There's a 1% tiny, and maybe not even 1%, I'd say like a 0.05%, like half a percent uh, people that are just total jerks. But for the most part, everybody I have met is unbelievable, and uh, I just, this is great. This is fantastic. So, hope you guys are having a blessed week. I will... Uh, looks like I've got quite a bit of brushes to go through to review and uh, soaps and new products. So I think I'm probably set for this year <laughs> uh, trying to do reviews. I don't know if I'll be able to catch up with all this stuff. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good one. I'm just kind of rambling on now. Uh, so yeah, hope you're having a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.